This video introduces a patented system of seals that are designed to improve airflow inside and around the self-leveling shoe as it is used in the New Holland CR line of combines. Airflow control, as the system is named, was installed in one 2005 model CR 940 shown here. An identical model without airflow control installed was used for comparison purposes. In this video, you will see airflow within the shoe airflow around the shoe and material movement impacted by the airflow control system. We'll show the components of the system installed in the combine and installed in a test stand shown here to help understand how the system works to provide for less grain loss, cleaner grain samples, more capacity and easier combine settings. In the test you'll see comparing the two combines the fan setting is always 600 rpm, the lower sieve will be entirely shut and the upper sieve will be 3 eighths of an inch open. The sieves are 1 and 1 eighth inch in the lower position and 1 and 5 eighths inch in the upper position. Other than the installation of the airflow control, these two combines are exactly as they were produced at the factory. Here we see a test stand that uses an actual lower shoe assembly and the auger housing in which it resides in a real combine. The shoe is positioned as it would be in a combine and you can see the considerable area below the shoe where air can move between the shoe and the auger housing. Likewise, there is considerable area on either side of this shoe for air to escape out the sides. The air coming from the fan would take the path of least resistance since it isn't contained and forced to go through the sieves which would reside in the shoe assembly. This is the same test stand with most of the airflow control components installed. Note that there is a lower seal that closes the gap from the auger housing floor to the lower shoe and that there are seal assemblies which prevent air from escaping around the sides. This seal system will make any air coming from the fan go through the sieves and greatly reduces the impact of mog load variations. The seal components stay in contact with the shoe even as it oscillates and rotates to stay level. Here we see the area in a standard combine where the shoe resides inside the auger housing. You can see the clean grain auger and the tailings auger. All of this area provides an escape route for air that should be going through the sieves. The same area viewed in the combine with the airflow control installed shows a solid barrier which prevents air from escaping. Providing this ceiling makes the airflow inside the self lovely shoe much like that in a fixed shoe while retaining the considerable benefit of the self-leveling feature. Here we see a comparison of airflow using smoke to visually demonstrate air movement outside of the shoe. This test is with the CR940 without the airflow control. Smoke is introduced such that it is drawn into the cleaning fan. As you can see, smoke comes out of the side of the combine almost in the same volume as it comes out of the rear. This combine is positioned such that the wind is blowing smoke away from the camera to ensure that the ambient conditions don't skew the viewer's perception of what is happening by having smoke from the back of the machine appear to be coming from the side. The same test shown here on the CR940 with airflow control installed shows a virtual lack of air coming out of the side of the combine. Airflow is essentially all out of the rear of the machine. This combine is also positioned to keep ambient air from affecting the perception of the viewer. Other tests were run with the combines positioned on a slope which would make the self-leveling shoe components tilt inside of the combine. In this video the standard combine again leaks air out of the side. The CR940 with airflow control, shown in the same non-level position, has the air contained inside of the machine. The seal components stay in contact with the surfaces being sealed off regardless of the shoe orientation or the oscillating motion. Remember that these combines have minimal fan RPM settings and that with higher airflow, the leakage out of the sides of the combine will be substantially raised.